So we're in front of our amazing vermi composting toilet, or we call it Chateau de Key Pool Castle, because it looks a bit like a castle. Um, yeah, so I just want to show you first before we do anything with with the vermi composting part. I want to show you the the system, that kind of walk us through it. Let's go and see. So this is our toilet. So basically, it's just a toilet with water, and you can flush it. Flush it. There. You do your business, then you flush it. Then you got a uh, bum gun to spray your butt, and usually we have toilet paper, more toilet paper as well. Yeah. So uh, that's that's yeah, it's like a toilet. So how is this different from other toilets? So this is our toilet block, so we have two toilets in there. And then I can show you the where the pool goes, the water, uh, with the, the black water, you could say. So we got a pipe coming out of here, so two, two toilets are connected to that. And it's going into this little, beautiful little house. Uh, that's where it all happens, the magic. called a vermi composting toilet because we use worms, composting worms, to digest and process the, the solid waste, the poo, uh, for the people. They eat it and they poo it out, make it into a nice fertilizer that is not harmful. And also they have a lot of bacteria in their guts that help break down uh, anything that might be bad and break down uh, the poo. Um, yeah, that's, that's why it's called a vermi composting system. Uh, you flush and then it goes in here in this IBC tank, this uh, in intermediate bulk container. Uh, it's like a thousand liter. Yeah, and then it goes in there. So in this tank, in this tank, we have several layers where we filter the poo away from the water. So these layers are starting from the bottom. We have a kind of a big rock, right? And then we have a, a smaller rock to filter. And then we have a kind of an organic sponge, which we use a big wood chip and coconut fiber as the organic sponge, which also is the home for the microorganisms to eat any uh, harmful pathogens and things. And then we have some um, organic matter and worms, and then we put some straw as another biofilter. So what happens is the water and the, the, the black water with the poo goes in here. The poo gets filtered off at the top so it stays at the top and then the water kind of slowly flows through and then goes through so there's an exit goes through it exit here and then it goes into this system so after it's coming out of this uh, IBC tank with the worms the worm tank and the organic sponge or the biological sponge the water goes through a pipe and then it goes into our um, leach field which is here so first it goes into the distribution box, the, the water that's comes, coming out of the, the system. And then the water gets evenly distributed um, underground. And it has a few pipes going in different directions, so the water gets distributed and spread out. Uh, and then in this, this pit that we dig, so there's the pipes, and then we also put a lot of uh, wood chip there to basically absorb that water and to create a habitat for beneficial microorganisms to help clean the water. Um, so that's all where I'm standing here. It's quite, we made it quite big because uh, sometimes we have a lot of people and a lot of water flowing through. So it's all this part. And, and then we plant, we basically we planted stuff in here. So we got some papaya here and then we got some uh, holy basil or tulsi and then we got some cherry, more holy basil. We got a young coconut and then we got this amazing banana. It's just like doing super well. It's probably the best banana we have here. Uh, yeah, everything is doing well. So these papayas are looking pretty good for us. Uh, we had an eggplant. Now it's getting a bit less, but it was super productive. Just kept giving. Um, 
So yeah, so all that these plants are kind of fed by the the wastewater coming out of the the biological filter, uh, and it's kind of feeding these plants and making this grow into abundant little uh, food forest. So it's a very good system. Yeah. So this system was developed by Anna Eady. She, she pioneered it in the U.S. in the 90s, and then somebody. Uh, who was in Portugal, Wendy Howard, um, kind of adapted to kind of this kind of system using this IBC tank. Uh, so Wendy Howard kind of adapted it. Uh, and there's a great website that we'll put the link underneath. Uh, so if you want to read more, it's very detailed and uh, get very good information. It's a great work for those who created the website. Um, so we'll put that in. And if you like our video, you can subscribe by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you.